the seismic window display we'll have a look at the reverse polarity picking uh, very similar to the kill trace again we've got those icons that control what toolbar that we're accessing in the seismic window display and then we've got a number of icons that reflect uh, opening and saving reverse polarity files setting the options viewing uh, defining the selection new and picking so again like the the trace kill we go into this mode and we have a way to actually pick and toggle various traces we can actually just click now what that's done if we want to view those that identifies the traces reverse polarity uh, similar to the trace kill we can set what we're identifying so we're initially picking based on sequential sequential trace number we could identify that as some other header word if we want uh, we can define a, a, a selection based on some header words to define the reverse polarity uh, finally when you're done picking reverse polarity uh, you can uh, there's a number of functions for saving I mean we can unmark if we've made some mistakes generally we're going to save out to a file we could apply the reverse polarities to the data headers uh, we could mark them based on a selection or a reverse polarity of the data itself generally you would output to a file and again like the trace kill if we looked at a flow the trace edit reverse polarities we would actually just set that file in here and then mark the traces by that file input. So that's a quick overview of reverse, reverse polarity picking in the seismic window display.